Okay, Stephen, how do you, what is your feeling about this event and how do you like this? Well, to begin with, this is one of the most magnificent cultural events that I have ever been to. In fact, this should be a model, I believe, for anyone who wants to organize an event. Obviously, there was a lot of teamwork, a lot, a lot of heart, soul, and spirit put into this event. I've gone to each of your states. I've, I've, I've visited uh, a, a lot of good, solid heritage and culture. And I tell you, I want to get on a plane tomorrow morning and get, get to <laughs> India. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful country. Right. And the reason why it's a beautiful country, you've got beautiful people. Right. Beautiful people. So I would recommend that when you have these events, I mean, let's just start. I'll, I'm going to help you get the word out that people need to come because they're going to learn a lot about the Indian American community here in the United States as well as the nation of India. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, uh, like uh, you know that Indian Americans have contributed a lot to the American uh, mainstream life. How do you think we can, what we can do further to bridge the gap between Indian Americans and Americans? Well, we're doing it now. We are doing it now. By holding a cultural event like this, we are bringing together people we are bringing together people from all backgrounds. I said in my speech, Monroe Township, New Jersey, and not a lot of people know this, but they're going to know it after today, has the largest growth of Indian Americans, not just in the United States, but in the Western Hemisphere. So we're going to help get the word out, and we're going to come together, and maybe from here we could have roundtable discussions. We could bring some of this culture into schools uh, and colleges, not only across the state, but across the country, because I, I've got to tell you, uh, you know, I came here and you wanted me to, to share certain things, but I've come here to learn a lot. I learned a lot from you. I bet you. And what right. I learned is that, you know, we're talking about, and thank God we have a president who's really strong on making America great of again. Of course. But you know what? <laughs> the culture here, the Indian Americans are truly, truly making America great again, and I'm so excited about it. All right, and so th this is like Stephen Rogers, who is the... Uh, chair, I mean, president of America Winning Coalition, and he's also a member of the President Donald J. Trump Campaign Advisory Board 2020. And my name is Hemant. I am Hemant Bhatt. I am the uh, director of Immigration Relations of America Winning Coalition. And Hemant, may I add one thing? You know, a lot of people have been talking about me, and what is important is for people to know that it's not just about me, it's about a team. A team that I, I believe, you know, the power of prayer, we've talked about it. I know. As, as the good Lord put the, the team here together, he's put a team together for me. So first, Michelle, uh, why, why don't you introduce, just say who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Michelle Albergo. I'm the New Jersey State Chairwoman for America Winning Coalition. Uh, she, she is very energetic. She is very fiery. And if, if, you, if somebody, somebody wants to come against us, he'll, he'll pull her out, you know. Joey? I'm Joe, and I'm the Chief Communications Director for America Winning Coalition. And uh, Mindy? Hi there, I'm Mindy, and I am the VP for the American uh, well, a Winning Coalition, and I am a strong supporter of our president and his policies. And um, we like what Stephen Rogers is doing for our country and for our president. Yeah, so we have an excellent team of like-minded people, and uh, we are all going to make a difference. And Stephen is there to help us out, and I'm very confident that we are going to take an excellent message from sure. this event. And Ragini, thank you so much for sparing this time, and convey my thanks to Sridhar Chilara, who has done this for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, I am with Sunil Nayak, and of course Stephen Roger is beside me. Sunil Nayak is the moving spirit behind the entire event, what you see today. And whatever, whatever, whatever setup you see today, it is a creation of only 48 hours. He has a tremendous team of his, uh, like Anil Patel and others, in this organization. And uh, Stephen Rogers has really encouraged us a lot of uh, inspiration to us. And I would now request uh, Mr. Sunil Nayak to something to speak about this event as well as for Mr. Stephen Rogers. It's a privilege to have Mr. Stephen Rogers here on behalf of AINA. I welcome uh, Mr. Rogers and in thank to give his valuable time to visit this event, which is the most awaited event that all the Indians look forward to. Used to be Chalo Gujarat earlier, now the horizons have become bigger. It has become Chalo India now. Mr. Rogers gave a wonderful message, a very inspiring message, a very encouraging message to all the Indians who have any misconceptions of the current administration. 
So we thank Mr. Rogers again for being part of uh, this event, and we hope that next time he'll come with you know many more people from his administration. Right. And uh, I would invite, besides the Indians, all the Americans to also come visit and see what Indian culture is, which may inspire them to visit India, to see the great country that India is, and uh, a country that could be appreciated by the greatest democracy of the world is something that we all would, uh, the, we all would uh, look forward to. So once again, Mr. Rogers, thank you so much on behalf of Aina. Thank you. And let me add that you have been an inspiration to me, to my friends that are here, but more so you've been an inspiration to this country and I know to the country of India. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. been an honor for me to be here.